and active on Facebook and you're commenting on stuff and it just seems like it doesn't matter how many posts you react to how many posts you comment on hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about the top three secrets to finding your perfect prospects we're going to talk about what are perfect prospects why do I say that you can find them and how you can do it now of course the three secrets we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right there's perfect prospects out there so I talk about the three kinds of prospects the PIP perfect ideal uh sorry <laughs> potential ideal and perfect right so your all your prospects are potential until they're your ideal prospects which is all about targeting and then perfect prospects are the ones that you really want the ones that are actually going to buy from you so we're going to talk about that before we go there though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis479.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen it'll be a lot better than just the audio but still the audio is pretty good all right so let's get right to it let me actually share my screen and show you what I'm talking about let's go right to the top the three secrets what are the three secrets right so the three secrets are number one you don't need to spend 48 hours a day on Facebook you don't need to spend all your time on Facebook you can only do, you can spend only 30 minutes on Facebook when you're looking for your perfect prospects number two is you don't need to use spreadsheets to track your activity you can let active group user software tell you when to contact someone and we'll show you what I mean by that and number three is you're not going to get blocked by Facebook using AGU you know you might be worried about using software and getting blocked and Facebook not liking bots and all this stuff AGU behaves just like you read random delays and aborts on first sign of trouble and I'll show you what I mean by that all right so the top three secrets so first of all you're on Facebook right let's go to Facebook I'm just going to go to my Facebook page here if you're on Facebook you know one of the things is that as a let's just actually go to the feed right so you're on Facebook you're going through the news feed you're basically doing what the leaders are telling you to do right you're engaging on the post you're commenting on the post you're looking at them you're commenting you're actually you know saying good stuff you're because you're the good you know the good person on the on the on the feed you're you're the one that Facebook likes you're the one like you know I'll share this right and I'm gonna go and say uh, share the feed I'm gonna say oh looks like perfect weather to pick apples whoops I gotta write it apples right so I'm gonna share this you know I'm the good the good guy I share stuff I comment on stuff I engage on feed on the post right I let's react to this right so I actually you know that's what leaders that's one of the things leaders tell you to do right you got to create content you got to have your avatar defined you got to have your offer you got to know what your offer is you got to be active in Facebook so you're going to Facebook you're <laughs> active on Facebook and you're commenting on stuff and it just seems like it doesn't matter how many posts you react to how many posts you comment on doesn't doesn't matter right it doesn't matter things just don't really go fast enough for you what if I told you that you can go faster you can spend just 30 minutes on the on Facebook it's you you know I'm, I'm you don't need to go in the feed you don't need to go in in groups because that's what leaders tell you to do right you go to groups right you go to the group feed and you engage on the post in the group feed right that's just you know um you know you just engage on stuff and you become a person that people recognize they see you because you're commenting on things and you know that's you 
Zero. That's kind of true. It's true that if you engage on the feed, people will start to notice you. They will see that you're reacting to posts, that you're commenting on things. And, you know, over time, you're going to become the person people notice. Because if you go to this, to these, some of these posts, they're, they're people asking questions, right? They're, they're, people are wondering about you know like this person here ad strategy asking about the quality score like I don't, I'm not an ad, Google ad expert or anything but uh, you know I could maybe maybe if I was an expert I could maybe answer this question I could actually answer the question right there right and become the person that's known to answer questions in the feed right are we having another another uh, storm again uh question about spaghetti strings when did they become so two hours ago which there's a new a new storm coming this way I don't know this looks like a hurricane that's coming our way right Felipe Philippe I thought uh, Philippe is coming I don't know if it'll come here but I'm sure we're going to hear about it during the week anyways whatever that's beside the point so um you know you're seeing stuff and you're commenting you're becoming a great leader people are are loving your content loving your but anyways but you're spending so much time and why are you spending so much time right because it feels good to be engage and to be active and to be posting and be commenting right the thing is though that if you're active on everything you're not going to be seen that much because you're not focused right so that's why when we talk about the secrets we talk about secret number two right we talk about you don't need to use spreadsheets because you know one of the things is actually let's go back to secret number we're still on secret number one here you don't need to spend four hours you can do it in 30 minutes a day how can you possibly do it in 30 minutes a day well the secret is that you've got to be engaging on the right the right posts okay so what are the right posts how do you know that they're the right posts well it goes back to the three the three types of prospects right so if I go to if I'm on Facebook right I'm engaging on the feed everybody that's here that that you know all these people I guess this this guy Ola Raphael here and this guy this gal Sarah you know Wasim and John Melton and you know all these names that are here these are all potential prospects the first type of prospect is a potential prospect it's a prospect that's on Facebook that's that that somebody you see right that could potentially be you know a buyer of yours right it's a potential prospect so every potential prospect could become your prospect your ideal prospect but there's a different you know they're not necessarily your ideal prospect because they maybe they're not they're not your target market or maybe they're not close to your avatar that those are your ideal prospects your ideal prospects are the one the ones that match your avatar you know closely right they have the same interests they have the they maybe they have the right income they have their right location all those things right those are your ideal prospects the ideal prospects are the ones that you want to spend more time with well, how do they become your perfect prospect how do you find your perfect prospect because that's prospect type number three right there's so now we're talking about the the secrets of finding your perfect prospect and I want to kind of define what I mean by a perfect prospect versus an ideal prospect versus a potential prospect right so those three kinds of prospects are the prospects that are in front of you right or they're on Facebook they're in the group so here's the thing so to find your perfect prospects because you, you need to find your perfect prospects before you can spend 30 minutes only on Facebook right if you want to spend only 30 minutes a day on Facebook you need to be focused on who you are engaging with you got to be engaging on your perfect prospects only or at the very least the ones that are most likely to become perfect prospects because a perfect prospect is a prospect that buys from you when they see an offer that they believe will help them they become a perfect prospect through the journey of you know that right and how do you you know how do you find the perfect prospects well your perfect prospects are the ones that are active the ones that are in your groups the ones that are actually seeing your stuff and the ones that are actually starting to know who you are right they know and like and trust you so that they'll buy from you they have to they have to have those qualities to become perfect prospects 
so how do you find them well I mean you could you know, you could just go to the groups like say I look at the groups here and you know what I'm in uh, rapid uh, these are let's say chrome bus uh, well let's just search for groups here I'm going to search for uh, online aff let's say affiliate marketing right let's say that I'm in online business building I'm looking for affiliate marketers or people who are interested in becoming affiliate marketers or people who are affiliate marketers I'm going to search for affiliate marketing obviously whoops with an a obviously if you're into weight loss if you're into you know credit repair obviously the groups you're going to search for are different but let's just start with that process right start with the process of finding the groups that you think that your target market your target your ideal prospects are in right because that's the first step you got to find your ideal prospects and your ideal prospects are the ones that are in the groups that your avatar would be in right so if I just search for these groups uh you can see I'm in a few of them I'm, some of them I'm this one I'm not in these ones I'm in right so I'm in a few of these groups so let's just say I go to one that you know doesn't have oops, sorry <laughs> one that doesn't have like millions of people in it because uh, those ones are harder to, to uh, find but let's just say I look at say this one's I've got 64,000 members uh this one has 227 100,000 38,000 21,000 okay let's look at this one this one I mean 21,000 is still a lot of people but let's just go to this group I'm going to look at this group and basically what I do is I look at the posts that are there right and I look at who's actually posting so these so like say this post is Manu here posted this is honey that posted this is Sarah that posted this is Todd that posted so basically I would take those names and I would put them in some spreadsheet or something right so that I know where they are so I would go to this to, to, to this you know I would go to Sarah right here and then I would check her main profile which is over here oh I guess it's view profile there so I would go to her profile right here right and I would take this link right here right I would take this link I guess you can't see but let's just uh, move this down a bit so I would take this link right here and I would save that as a link right so I don't know if maybe you can can you find it some other way no I guess not okay so I would save that or maybe I can I can can I click on this yeah yeah if I just click on one of her posts right on her name it'll take me straight to to the actual link right there right so this will be the link right there that'll be the link for her profile so I'll save that in a document right let's just close that move that back up there <coughs> okay so now I know Sarah Mc McCune September 6th she posted this September 2nd she posted this said August 18th so she's you know posting every couple maybe every couple weeks she's posting a post right and you can maybe engage on those posts you can comment on those posts that's first step but you got to track that you got to know that Sarah you visited her today you checked her profile today and you commented on one or two posts and you save that in a file someplace right so then in say a week from now you're going to go visit Sarah's profile again and you're going to record that you visit her profile a second time and you commented on you maybe two more posts and so now you're at four posts or maybe one post and then you're at three right whatever you decide but you track that and it is super important to track it because if you don't track it you won't know that a prospect is becoming connected to you right this is this Sarah here she's gonna see me when you know she's gonna see my face here in her notifications right because she sees me in her notifications it's an exposure to me and that's one of the other secrets about online marketing about sales is you want people to see you that becomes an exposure so they will potentially start to because you know, the idea is you want them to start to look at them that's exactly what happens when you're in the Facebook feed when you're commenting on stuff it's exactly the same thing that happens 
except you're not tracking anything you're just letting Facebook show you stuff right so you're just basically engaging on random posts in the news feed in the group feed you're just randomly doing it and you're not tracking anything you're just letting Facebook decide what it wants to show you and what it thinks of your engagement and all that stuff right so I mean that does help you you know to get your post in front of other people and things like that but this is no different except it's a lot more work obviously right to track everything but that is the only way that you'll ever know if a prospect is becoming a perfect prospect or not and that's what you want you want you want these people on Facebook to start to notice you to become perfect prospects they have to notice you they have to see you in their notifications they have to see your comments on their posts they have to you know connect with you in that way and that's how you do it to make them perfect prospects so that's secret number one right is all about that you don't need to spend for you know all day on Facebook you can just do it 30 minutes a day by having a list of who you are engaging on so that you know that you've engaged on them a certain amount of time and it's your it's time to contact them it's time to send them a friend request a message right just say hey you know what I've been following you for a while and I really like your content I see that you're doing this you're doing that and I just thought I'd connect or you know send you a message right so you first obviously you have that that's all you do you don't try to pitch them anything right but that's no different than what leaders are teaching right now the only difference is that with this tactic you can do it in just a few minutes a day because you're keeping track of who you're visiting and you're just spending the amount of time visiting like a handful of people from your list that keeps growing because you're finding more and more people that are actually your ideal prospects they become perfect prospects after you've engaged with their posts and their and their content over a certain period of time all right so that's how you get perfect prospects is by making them become perfect prospects by seeing you and seeing your content seeing your comments seeing your engagement on their stuff all right that's first number two let's go back now let's talk about secret number two is you can use active group users to do that for you right you don't need to do it yourself I mean god that's crazy to think about how much time it would take to go through Facebook and find all the people and then track them and then see that you visited them or not that you commented on their stuff or not like let software do that for you why can't we let software do that for you right it's <coughs> it's just a secret and the reason why people I mean that'll be secret number three but the reason why people don't like using software on Facebook is because face they hear all these stories about people using bots and things like that that block them right anyways that's like I said that's secret three but let's just talk about active group users so once you have your list of prospects the tool will get you the list of people that are actually in those groups and then you can see whether they're active or not I mean we're not I'm not going to go into details all over here but that much but there's a there's a list of visits a list of reaction comments and then there's also a number of posts a number of uh, comments that they did in groups so these numbers all over the place that you see I mean don't worry about that basically what you do is you just visit profiles just by clicking their names right I just click on these names and then I just go visit this profile by cl clicking their name I don't have to track it I don't have to put in a spreadsheet I don't have to say oh I visited Savina today right uh, the tool will let me track that like myself I'm just going to react here I'm going to say well, you know this is looks really great so I'm going to go wow let's just comment on it and see what I mean wow this looks amazing I'm just going to do that because you know obviously sometimes I will t you know most times I will take more do a better comment right but this is just all I'm doing here I'm just going to react to another post here I could comment again right but I'll just react so as you can see I already reacted to this post right here and there's two new posts so Savina doesn't post like every single day she posts every probably a couple times a week or something so now she's got two posts that I reacted to and I count on one post so then I just close this tab and I go back here and as I say I count on one post I reacted to two posts and then I save the update so the tool tracks that for me now the tool knows that I visited Savina 46 times and if I click on her name again the, this little pop-up that comes up it kind of tells you how many visits right it says right here 46 visits in the last 700 days 46 posts I commented on 46 posts reacted 63 posts 
and it also tracks for me whether she's uh you know the temperature of the, the prospect is none when I haven't visited them at all cold in the first few posts warm after a while and when they're hot the that means that I could probably message Savina or send her a friend request and she wouldn't completely ignore me because she has seen me in her post she's she's noticed me commenting on stuff so she actually might have even a clue about what I'm about right and that's that's the real secret is that is tracking tracking has to be done if you're not tracking you're not going to get the results that you need to get and this is the best way to do it obviously is to have a tool that does it for you and you can see if I mouse over here I can see right here it actually shows me the dates of when that you know when I was visited one minute ago six days ago 15 days ago whatever right so you can see how often I visit her, her posts and how many com how many times I commented the same thing over here will be the same dates right <coughs> but that's the thing that's what you get when you use a tool that tracks for you so now I know I can come here and I can say I let's just say I want to show just show me all the hot temperatures that um and just just do that let's just see all the hot the ones that are hot which is their temperature you know prospect temperature right so it shows me the list of all the people that are hot so I can go ahead and mess send them a message if I want right now I can choose that list that way so that tool will track for you your activities and your engagements on post so you know when it's time to reach out to them all right so that's secret number two is track it using active group user software right <coughs> so number three is you're not going to get blocked when using active groups you might be thinking well I can't use software if I use software Facebook is going to block me because you know it's a bot because it's software because Facebook doesn't like that and you know whatever right and the thing is that yes it's true that using software and bots is not welcome by social media platforms they don't want you to be using a bot to automatically engage on posts to automatically comment on posts because there's lots of bots that do that stuff right the software that will actually go and look at you know the five posts of you all your friends and just like or love all those posts and comment on those posts great posts or whatever right that does exist there are tools that do that those are bots those are automations that you should not be using active group users doesn't do the engagement for you all it does it it gets the list of the people that are actually active and gives you that list so that you can use the list to go and engage on the posts and you can decide whether they're prospects that are if they're ideal prospects or not as they are ideal prospects when you engage on their posts and you let the tool track that and you comment on their posts and you track that then eventually they become perfect prospects because you'll be engaging on their posts they'll be seeing you in their notifications so you grow in their no like trust you you're basically an, ex, an exposure to them they will see your name in the comments and you whatever you're commenting they'll probably react to some most of your comments and then they'll probably go check your profile to see what you're about why you're there what you can help them with and then they will become perfect prospects that's how you find the perfect prospects it's a process you know you could you could use ads spend a ton of money to you know have Facebook send out posts and show your your post to people and they can maybe start to notice you and whatever with ads but that's it costs a lot of money to use ads so if you're trying to just do it with no ads you want a software like this that'll track for you your activities that'll show you where you're where you've been engaging on in, in posts right uh, that'll that <coughs> that you'll be able to know how long it's been since you visited a particular person's profile right when I go to Facebook here and I look at the <coughs> the posts here <coughs> I'm no real I don't really know Yogi 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 Raj here I mean I remember his name because I've been engaging on his post and it, it's in the tool but I don't really remember I mean if I wasn't using the tool I wouldn't even have a clue of when I last visit I mean I could go to say I go to my own page here <coughs> you actually there's lots of stuff you can actually do in Facebook by the way 
I go to my page and I click on these three little dots right here and I go into activity log <laughs> see how much information you can actually get connection security I mean really your activity across all Facebook you can say videos you've searched for videos you watch your search history groups you search for comments co group posts and comments so if I just like say open up comments here right if I look at the comments it shows me the posts that I've commented on and what did I comment on right so this here right see how all these are all me commenting on other other people's posts so I mean if I wanted to you know maybe I could scroll through here <laughs> scroll through here to go find um I want to go find you know uh you 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 get you get you get sh sorry I I I don't remember the name but the name I just saw there right I can go down here and I can eventually find him in the list and then I would be able to say oh look at that I commented on the 21st of September at you know 6 40 p.m right I would be able to see that I commented on a particular day but that's like who wants to do that right who wants to do that that would be totally insane to have to do that every time you're trying to figure out when was the last time is it time to like the other way obviously is I can go to let's say Carla's page here actually that's just the post if I go to her page if I go to Carla's page I can kind of look through here and I can see which ones I've engaged on if I scroll down here I can see look I've engaged on this post so if I go to her page I'm I'll be able to find the last post I engaged on which is a post from yesterday right sorry but the thing is that that's still a lot of work why do I go to her page to go look at that because it's a wasted amount of time if I don't need to engage on any new posts right if I just look at the tool here the tool will tell me how long ago right here visited this column here three days ago yesterday three hours ago 17 days ago four days ago yesterday yesterday six days ago right the tool will tell me so I can say just show me um people that I visited at least six days ago and let's just say I don't without a note and let's get the temperature out of there let's do that filter so that when I do that then the then I can see only the people that I have not visited at least six days ago right so the or the ones that I have not visited yet right so you can see right here that's the people that I have not visited so 12 days 46 right 573 days ago right so I can actually see everybody if I look at this that I visited 573 days ago if I look at that it says Alejandro I visited them you know two visits in the last 23 days so I don't know why it says that's interesting that doesn't look right so last visit and then oh yeah 500 in the last oh I guess the math on this 23 days is just wrong because it does show 573 596 right there right I'm not really sure what that what that's about anyways whatever so that's something I gotta fix but now the other thing I can do too is Alejandro I don't know what his profile looks like so I'm gonna click on this edit here and I'm gonna go to his profile and I'm gonna click on the Facebook image right here oops the profile picture I guess I I guess some of them they don't let you if I look at photos uh, albums profile pictures and this one I right click on this copy image address and then I go I can close this and then I go back here and I put the profile picture right there and I save that so that's going to update the profile picture to this profile picture so now when I see uh, right here right when I see him in the list I can so anyone that the profile picture didn't load I can do that with right and go over here click on this little edit I mean that's kind of you know whatever the software does a whole bunch of different things this is one of the things if you want if you want to see who they are you can uh right click you can get the picture like this copy image address close the tab and paste that here so that way you know when you're looking through your list some of them it'll go get them automatically but sometimes they don't so that's why I like this so now when you look at your list here you can actually see who they are at least it helps me to remember who they are when I see their profile picture more than their names 
so maybe you can do that right but anyways that's basically it if you want to find perfect prospects you got to go through these three secrets to figure out who is your perfect prospect how to find your perfect prospect you don't need to spend tons of time on Facebook you don't need to use spreadsheets to track you can use active group users and you won't get blocked by Facebook when using active group users it does delays and does random th random things to make sure that it behaves like a person for the stuff it does but like I said it doesn't automate anything it's just fetching data from Facebook all right so hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.